how's it going? Welcome back to Evercrest. My name is Brittany and I am so glad that you guys are here. Today we are going to be updating you on some of the hydroponic uh, planters and pots and things that we've been planting up over the last couple of weeks. I really want to get better about updating you guys on these things. I do a lot of like planting videos and unboxing videos and things like that, but I want to get better at like following up with things so that you guys can see exactly how everything is doing. Right now, this is everything that I have planted up in my house. I really need to get on the ball and plant up some of my other systems to really start producing a decent amount of food for me and my family here. But this is what we have right now. And I just wanted to go over each one and just show you how each thing is doing. Um, so we have done videos on all of these over the last couple of weeks and I will link all of them in the description below if you guys want to find out more about a specific uh, planter or unit that I am showing. Um, so today we're going to be looking at this I do right here which we planted up this fafa grass and both of these were in the same video we planted both of these up um, in the I do planter we planted some basil um, and in the fafa grass we planted some red romaine lettuce actually I think I meant to plant a mixture of red and green and I think I mixed up the seeds and just planted green because I'm not seeing any red come up at all but whatever and then in this system over here, this, this is the Regulax planter that we planted up last week. Um, and this is doing really good. This just has a house plant in it. And then right here is our um, vert planter that we planted up in a couple of videos, actually. I showed you guys um, initially planting up this uh, house plant over here. And then in another video, we planted some seeds and some succulents and added some moss to this container. So I'm going to pull you guys in a little bit closer so you can see each unit a little bit closer and see how everything's doing. Okay, so first up we have our six pod I do here, and like I had mentioned previously, we planted basil in this system. I have not harvested off of this basil at all yet, um, but it is getting to the point now where I can, and that will really help these plants bush out and get a lot bigger. Um, so now that I can start harvesting off of it a little bit, they're gonna start looking a little healthier and a little bigger. Um, most of these seeds came up and it is looking really good, but two of the pods, are struggling and one of them didn't come up so let me just show that to you here a little bit closer so if we turn it here we have one pod here where it looks like the seeds just kind of got moldy and gross um, looks like it started to sprout a little bit and we have a little bit of um, roots there but it just died sometimes this just happens I don't know type of fungus or whatever gets in there and sometimes they just don't work out. The way that I usually handle this is I just clean out the sponge really good and then I will plant new seed in there. So we can go ahead and do that with this one. On the other side here, we have another pod here, which there is stuff growing in it, but it does not look super healthy. Um, one thing that you can do with something like this is you could just pull these out and start over um, like the other one, or we can try to get in here and sort of clean out some of this stuff that's not looking the best. Um, this is kind of risky because you risk pulling out all of the plants. But if I pull these guys off that don't look as healthy and leave this guy, kind of try to shove him back down in there a little bit, he might actually pick up and start growing now that those other ones aren't there hindering him and causing problems. So we're gonna leave him like he is and just see if he picks up like the others. As you can see with some of these other ones, though they are doing really well, and all of these were planted at the same time. So, you know, this has had the same amount of time to grow as this one. So definitely something's going on there, and that just happens sometimes. Um, but we have a really nice healthy root system going here. They're looking really nice and white. Um, we don't want our roots looking kind of brown and mushy. We want them nice and white and firm, which these look great. And then on the top here, we have some beautiful looking basil. Look at that, that looks awesome. 
Now, like I mentioned earlier, this is a six pod system and it has a LED light here on the top that is adjustable. I really like this system because it is so narrow. Um, it's like really like a small pot footprint. Um, and then you just have all of this water down in here to feed your hydroponic system. The other thing that I love about this system is it's actually a two in one. So if you wanted to remove the water from here and add soil, there's actually a water reservoir down here where it can be a self-watering container instead of a hydroponic system, which is really cool because it kind of just gives you the flexibility of whatever you would like to do. Okay, next up we have this Fafa grass unit, which is one of my favorites, I think because it looks so cute. Um, I love the bamboo surround that it has, and then it has this hydroponic insert right here. The LED lights are actually built into the top of the system here, which is really nice. Um, and then we have our lettuce planted in here. Now our lettuce in here is doing pretty good. As you can see, there's a lot of good lettuce in here. And we can go ahead and start harvesting off of this now. Um, and to harvest off of these, I like to just pull some of the outside biggest leaves and then leave the center leaves and these will actually continue to grow for you for quite a while and you'll be able to harvest a, a good bit off of these plants before you have to replace them. Now there's a couple of pods in this system that did not come up as good as some of the other ones and let's take a look at those. Okay, so again, all of these seeds were planted at the same time. I have not replanted any of these um, because I wanted to give you guys a really good look at just what happens sometimes. So we have some really good pods in here, as you can see, some really nice looking ones. But then here on the side, this one looks pretty terrible. So obviously we have a little bit of mold in there, a little bit of fuzziness. This guy can pretty much just come off. This guy looks really terrible. Um, so I would probably just pull all of these out and start fresh and new with new seed in here. Um, back here in this, right behind that one, this one's not doing so well either. Really kind of came up but then just died off. The one directly behind that is doing really well. Let's pull him out and just take a look at his root system here. So there looking really really good nice white roots nice and uh, not soft at all which is good or squishy but look at that that is a beautiful sight <clears throat> So most of the center ones came up really, really good. I think it was mostly just the side ones that didn't do so well. Um, so over here we have two that came up but didn't do so well. And then we actually have three here in the middle um, that didn't come up at all. So let's look down in there. I don't see anything in that one. I see the seed in that one, but didn't doesn't look like it really even tried to sprout. Let's see about this one. Yeah, there might be a seed down in there. So what I'll do with all of these that don't look so good is just clean them out really well, make sure there's no more fuzziness in there or any seed in there. And sometimes you have to just replace the sponge. If you can get away with reusing the sponge, that's always good. But sometimes you just have to replace the sponge and start over with new seed. Okay, next up we have our vert planter here, which is doing really well. I am super happy with this thing. This container honestly was a little bit of a mystery to me, and it was kind of weird to me. Just the way that you plant things on the side of this terracotta pot, and you put the water down in the inside here and it just leaches out the sides and waters everything. It's kind of a crazy concept to me, although I absolutely love it because it's so different. So let's take a look at our uh, peperomia that we planted here in the first video that we did. Um, this plant has struggled a little bit with a few things because my cat kept chewing on it. Despite all of that, this plant is doing amazing. And I actually wanted to show you that it is putting on some new leaves right here. So this is one of the places where I had to cut off a leaf because my cat had chewed on it. So it's actually putting on a new leaf, which is super encouraging. 
when plants are actually putting on new leaves or things like that, it's, it's a really good sign. Here's one of the leaves that got messed up that I didn't have the heart to cut off yet. Um, so that's kind of the damage that we were looking at. Some looked a little worse than this. Um, but overall, this plant is shiny. It's beautiful. It's healthy. It's putting on more leaves, like we said and it looks really, really good. So I am very happy with um, this plant. It's doing really well on the vert planter. After we did the peperomia, then we added some succulents and some uh, chia seed, and then that's also when we added the moss. So let's take a look down here at the chia seeds first, and let me zoom in here so you can kind of see a little better. Okay, so we zoomed in here for you guys to see a little better. And as you can see, it's literally like the seed just goes in the little holes of the planter and then just sprouts and the little roots just kind of grow down uh, the side of the container a little bit. We don't have too much root growth yet that you can't see it, that you can see it a lot. Um, but as you can see, it's starting to cover the wire that we use to put on the other plants and they all are doing really well. Now, one thing that I will say is that some of these chia seeds don't look as good as some of the other ones, these sprouts, because I kind of had this behind another planter and I think it was blocking some of the light. So I think that was kind of the issue with some of these. Um, they just needed a little bit more sun. Now, the succulents themselves are looking okay. They're looking all right. I honestly, I'm not sure if this is a long-term solution for succulents. Um, I don't think they love it. Um, and Vert Planter actually messaged us and told us, you know, we, we don't really do succulents on these. And I understood that whenever I did it, this was a little bit of an experiment on my end. So just so you guys know, like this is not made for succulents, but just looking at this container and kind of the way that it worked, I thought it would be a fun experiment to at least try to put some, um, succulents on it and see how they did. Again, I don't know that this is a permanent solution for them. Some of them aren't looking the best. Um, this one's starting to look a little dry. <clears throat> These guys look pretty good still. This one got kind of broken a little bit, but he's actually still doing pretty well for being a little floppy. This guy down here, he looks okay, but they just don't really look like they're thriving. This one over here is languishing a little bit. So I don't think that this is necessarily going to be an amazing um, succulent planter, but it is definitely something interesting if you wanted to try it like I did. Um, I really love the addition of the moss here on this. I think that it just adds an interesting element, kind of makes it look a little more natural. I like how it kind of concealed the roots a little bit. Oh, I'm knocking all my moss off. Um, I like how it kind of covered the roots. Um, I didn't really love the way that the peperomia looked with all of the soil that stayed on its roots. It was just kind of like a black blob um, with the green wire that I used around it. So adding a little bit of moss just made it look a little nicer. Um, so yeah, that's how this is going. I'm really happy with this planter. It's really interesting. It's a really different way of uh, growing things. I love how the peperomia is doing. I think out of everything, this is doing the best. It looks really pretty. I think something like a pothos plant would look amazing on this. If you wired it or rubber banded or whatever to the side of this container and then just let the pothos vines kind of wrap around the container, I think that would be gorgeous. Um, so yeah, that's how the vert planter is doing. I'm super happy with it. I think it's a really cool thing. I actually think that this would be an amazing gift for someone who likes plants in your life because it's so different. Like it's just such a different idea of growing um, and it's really, really cool. So that's my opinion on the vert planter. Okay, the last one that we're gonna talk about here today is this Ray Galax planter that we planted up last week. So this is the most recent one that we planted up and we just put a, um, what was this called? A purple waffle? 
plant, I think is what it was called. Um, it's just a house plant in here. I was actually thinking, I love this house plant in here, but I was actually thinking about maybe I should swap it out with some basil or some other herbs. I think that would be really cool, and I would love that on the kitchen counter as well. Um, but this plant is doing really well. I've only had to add water to this once so far. Um, so the reservoir is not super huge down here, like it's a good size but I'd say it lasts probably about a week and a half or so. Um, I filled it up just to make sure that it, it had adequate water because it was starting to get a little low, but that was just last night. So it lasted um, till there for over a week. So I think that's pretty good. I love all of the different features that this smart planter has. The fact that it has a Bluetooth speaker is really amazing. I can hook my phone up to it in the kitchen and play music. Um, I love that it has a clock and it's just this perfect light out here in the kitchen too whenever you come out in the evening and it's dark now. Um, I love just having this light shining on this plant. It makes a really beautiful uh, light out here when you don't need to kick on like all the other lights and just to come out it's almost like a little plant night light which is really really nice so that's the update for today's video i just kind of wanted to take you through step by step with each container and show you how everything is doing if you guys have any questions on any of these systems or anything that i talked about today be sure to put them in the comment section below i try to answer questions as best that i can and of course if you want to learn more about each of these systems be sure to check out the description below because i will have a link to each video that we planted these systems up i will also link the videos where we did unboxings on each of these planters um, in case you're interested to see how to get something like this set up and growing. Um, I absolutely love my hydroponic systems. It's kind of crazy because I think it was two or three years ago my husband bought me my first hydroponic system for Christmas. Just out of the blue he thought it was cool came across it on the internet and bought it for me and I just thought it would be fun to do like an unboxing video and how this thing set up and everything because I just thought that the unit was really cool um, and now I have so many units I have like seven hydroponic units and I absolutely love them I've been growing in them ever since I do all kinds of stuff with them now in the winter time whenever I can't be out in my big garden I do a lot of our lettuce and herbs and things like that that we can grow inside and still have fresh produce and then in the springtime I actually start seeds inside for plants to plant out in the big garden later if you haven't seen some of those videos we have done some of those videos as well on our channel so I'll do broccoli starts and cauliflower cabbage um, even lettuce starts you can do um, I've done flower starts calendula and things like that I can't think of oh of course herbs I've done basil start it inside and then take it out so these are amazing seed starters as well to to get plants up and growing for the garden outside hydroponic systems just create such an amazing root system on plants that I just love it for seed starting I kind of love the world of hydroponics too because it's a little bit of a different approach to gardening one that I think is accessible to a lot more people because you're not dealing with all the soil and you're not dealing with happening to have a lot of space or you know whatever you can literally grow food on your counter or you can grow beautiful plants um, on just a terracotta pot I think it's really really cool just eliminating some of the dirt and the mess um, it's a very clean way of growing which is kind of cool and so I think it just opens up the door to a lot more people. It kind of intrigues people into the world of growing things because it's so different. Um, and I just love to encourage people with that and to try something new. Uh, hydroponic growing is generally fairly simple too, as opposed to being outside where there's natural factors, there's pests and all that sort of thing. Inside in these hydroponic systems, you can control most of the things that are taking place. So most of the environment things, the light is on a timer so they get exactly the right amount of light. You are measuring the nutrients so you make sure that they have the exact right amount of nutrients. They always have water. You don't have to go out and water them with a hose. You just have to make sure that the system is filled up properly. Um, and then the only thing that you really have to deal with some 
sometimes is just sometimes seeds don't germinate that well. And in that case, you just pop them out and stick some new ones in. Occasionally, you'll deal with a little bit of mold and fungus, but we've gone over that as well. Simply cleaning the top of the system or top of the sponge off with a damp rag usually takes care of that issue. Um, so it's really quite simple and a really way to even start gardening and start growing something and kind of get your feet wet, if you will, uh, with growing. And I kind of like to say, and I say it hesitantly at this point, but I don't believe that anybody has a black thumb. I think that anybody can grow food just with a little bit of advice and a little bit of practice and a little bit of patience. I think anyone can grow things. So I just feel like hydroponics is a great way to kind of introduce people into growing things um, because all of the external factors are kind of limited. So that's one of the reasons that I absolutely love encouraging people in hydroponics because a lot of those exterior factors that kind of happen in the garden, these things that are just like frustrating, like pests eating things and uh, frost or, or stuff drying out too fast, just really doesn't happen when you're dealing with a hydroponic system inside. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to put them in the comment section below and we will see you in the next video, guys.